what's up youtube welcome to the video in this video we will discuss clean's theorem part 2 so let's begin so the title of this video is clean's theorem complete part 2 so part 2 of clean's theorem says that every language that can be defined by a tg which is transition graph can also be defined by an RE which is regular expression so basically transition graph is the diagrammatical representation of the regular expression so basically it is saying that if a language is there which can form a TG it can also form a regular expression so we will gonna prove this by our example so this is our question and we will uh, solve this to prove the Klein's theorem part 2 so the first step is gonna be introduce a unique final state we can see that there are two final state here first is the two and the second is fourth one so we will introduce a unique final state so we have introduced uh, uh, the five the unique final state by uh, doing some null transactions so this is called a null string now the second step is that remove edges with re so in this step we have changed the comma into plus you can see that it was previously a comma and we have changed it to a plus and we are calling it as remove edges with re so in re there are not any commas but plus and plus defines the or it means that either AA will go on or BB will go further now in the next step we will gonna eliminate the state 1 then uh, this expression will go uh, will come inside the brackets and this expression will also come inside the brackets but what happens to this loop expression this loop symbol means that there can be any number of double A's so how can we change this let's see so the first expression goes into the bracket the second expression also goes into the bracket but but to the loop we have done that we have uh, put it inside a bracket and there is a steric symbol so this steric symbol is called the clean star and it also means that there can be any number of double A's now in the next step we will gonna eliminate the state number 3 so the state number 3 also has a has a loop of BB so these, these double A will come inside brackets and, and these double A would also come inside the round brackets and the loop inside the clean star so our new TG looks like this so double A double a and double b inside the clean star because it is in loop it was in loop in the next steps we are going to remove the state number two and the state number four and it is not a challenge because the transaction between the two and the five and the four and the five are null string transaction so we will simply gonna remove state number two and then state number four till now we have formed this transition graph which shows that either this expression could lead us to the final state or this expression could lead us to the final state so there is an or here so we will gonna join the edges in the next step so to join the edges we would put the plus symbol uh, between them which is the or symbol and these two expression have gone inside the large brackets so this is our final transition graph and this can be written as a regular expression which was which is the proof of the Klein's theorem part 2 that was all for the video if you like the video press the like button and do subscribe to the channel 
and see you next time